Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. And as you can see, my garage gym is pretty no nonsense as well. Very basic. <laughs> uh, old plumbing pipes, pretty old house. But my garage gym has been a part of my living, my being for a while now, at least easily 10 years. I've always had some sort of gym set up in my garage. There has been times when I did use it all the time, like in COVID times. And I must say, COVID times were one of the, my best times when it comes to lifting. I had, uh, I, was, I knew that, you know, COVID was going to affect businesses. So before that, I stocked up my weights and plates and bars and press uh, bench and uh, my squat rack. I was always on lookout. I still I am. I am. Mm, pretty much regularly on marketplace to look for some you know good thing to buy some nice plates some you know some nice bar so when i did that and covid happened and i was the happiest man uh, i had few people come to my house my colleagues and my mates to come and try and uh, train in covid times so that way uh, i don't think so i will ever uh, stop training in my garage gym However, it goes uh, up and down. Sometimes I train a lot less because I go to gym and sometimes more. So this has been for a while now. Uh, bench press, I am, this is 90 kg and I'm benching after a long time. As you would know, uh, may or may not know that uh, I have come on the back of trying some Olympic weightlifting where it was though there was no such thing as bench press. That's my girlfriend, Dr. Inga. She uh, rushed in to come and spot me. This must, this is 80 kg. And uh, um, it's one of the things with bench press. Look at my feet. I've got such small, short legs that I need something to prop them up. Then you need a spotter. Uh, that's my criticism of bench press. So when I was doing a bit of Olympic weightlifting for three months, I was quite happy that I wouldn't have to do that. But otherwise, as you know, my main lifts are squat, deadlift, overhead press, and bench press. And I mentioned bench press right at the end because it's not a very high priority for me. For the reason that I've just explained, you need a bench, you need someone to spot you. Safety-wise, it is pretty dangerous if you fail. But I do know that it is a compulsory part of my programming. That is 90 kg. My girlfriend is on the edge. <laughs> and encouraging me with her words and on the edge just about to spot me and she's not in a good position to spot me because of various reasons uh, so i think the choice was good that i did 90 kg not something like 100 kg and a bit of celebration but uh, back to my not doing uh, here i am giving a bit of a crash course um, she is the only person who i, I have around every now and then i would say rarely uh, she's there um, and you know nobody else so I have to be very careful when I'm doing my lifting uh, and I would like you guys to be also be careful and safety oriented when it comes to lifting on your own or even in the gym there are times when I don't do bench press or I do it very light because I just know that it will be unsafe for me to do them at a certain weight so I'm giving her the full drill of how to do it I reckon this this must be 80 kg she's gone by now anyway so yes uh, i'd like to know your thoughts is bench press your most preferred or less pref least preferred like i am I'm pretty sure most of you guys like doing bench press it is such a uh, integral part of the modern physical culture that exists how much do you bench how big is your chest and you know chest day is a big day i'm not that at all uh it is my le least priority, but I do have it in my program. It's very, it's pretty good to have it. But if I don't, then I'm fine. So there she is, Dr. Inga helping me. Uh, because of this is, this bar is very old. There's no markings on it almost. There are, but they just have disappeared. So I have to be very careful where I place my hands. Um, but yeah, um, let me know what you think of the bench press. Is any of one of you prefer it least to do i mean you need a bench and you're laying down on a like who wants to see a man lay on a bench a man should be standing like a squat 
deadlift, overhead press, snatch. And uh, yes, so that way it is least preferred and I was being careful of my um, bit of shoulder niggle that I've had for years. So this is deadlifting after a long time. Uh, the bar that I have is Oki bar, Oki deadlift bar, special for deadlift, much lo bit longer and uh, slingy. So by this time, my lower back pain was there saying hello to me on my left. And this is the position, bending down is just, I don't want to use the words that I, I wanted to. Anyway, uh, so I'm doing very light deadlifts that I had never thought that I would have to do. Uh, but I'm still moving. That's all I can think of uh, to keep myself positive. Pain is an absolute teacher, very honest teacher. There is uh, no way that you will not comply to pain. Everyone does. And I would not have a different perspective than having a pain in my mind as a teacher. Rather than becoming negative, uh, 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 bitter, and have resentment that, oh, pain is there, I can't do this, I can't do that. Oh, this was tough, it was hurting. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of not doing double, but I was just doing singles and singles. Shirt comes off, still pretty hot in, my, in, in the gym, so I was happy with that. There you go. I'm pulling more with the hand because it's just hurting. Yeah, I, I, I just, there are definitely people out there who are experiencing a lot more pain than I am maybe, but I like to keep positive and keep moving and put the pain as a teacher, as a mentor and put it on a pedestal. Uh, there is no point otherwise we are all uh, at its mercy so this is 160 kg i was so sure that i could do triple five easily but the pain is like no this is what you're gonna do this is what i prescribe look at my hands they are just anyway uh so that was pretty okay i kept positive and kept going guys did some push-ups after this uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll keep up, keep you updated with my lifting. Still early days since I had my break. Still on 200 kg squat road. This is in between. I can't be in the road for everything. So this is just uh, bench press and deadlift. I'll see you next time.